the Paralympic spirit has come to Rio. This week, the event that embodies triumph over adversity opens in the so-called marvellous city. Over 4,500 athletes from 160 nations will compete for glory here over two weeks. Despite the long shadow of a cash shortfall and Brazil's twin economic and political crises, these sportsmen and women are determined to make good on years of training. It is exciting to come to Brazil, a warm country with a warm-hearted and friendly people. I'm looking forward to get to know the country. A medal is a result. I, uh, my goal is to have uh, a good competition and I'll see whatever happens. From September 7 to 18, the world's top disabled athletes will battle it out in 23 modalities, including two new events, canoe kayaking and triathlon. Similar to last month's games, two refugee athletes will compete under the Paralympic flag. Russia's athletes will stay home. The runner-up at the London Games received a blanket ban over state-sponsored doping a much stricter measure than for the Olympics where they were allowed to compete. I believe the Russian government has catastrophically failed its para-athletes. Their medals over morals, mentality, disgusts me. Further problems loom. Ticket sales lagging at 60% and a cash shortage following unplanned Olympics expenses. Organizers have cut venues and transport to balance the books. Brazil has pledged an extra $77 million, but even that won't cover the shortfall. Still, the organizers remain upbeat. The challenge is as big as the Olympic Games. Based on the success of the Olympics, we believe in the successful hosting of the Paralympics as well. New President Michel Temer is expected to open the Games after the Senate removed Dilma Rousseff from office last week. Following a marathon hosting of the Football World Cup and the Summer Olympics, Brazil now prepares for the final stretch, hoping to finish the race strong.